Hey guys, welcome back to Jamal Rule 16. I am your host Javon, and today we have a brand new video. Let me show you how to get Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, the definitive edition, running on a low end PC. To help with the test today, I'll be testing out on my i7 4790 with the Intel HD 4600. I know what you're saying. The i7 is a bit, you know, it's not low end. But the Intel HD 4600 is. We're trying to avoid, get, a, get away from a GPU bottleneck, because if it's a CPU bottleneck, it's quite hard to actually manage to get away from that which is why I use the i7 so it never will be anyway hope you guys enjoyed this and don't forget please leave a like comment share, subscribe and stick around for more epic content so as you can see we're running at 720p on the lower preset we're just gonna see how the game runs naturally which isn't bad to be honest with you we're gonna eat about 18 FPS it could be worse for this game but we have some tweaks to get us to run over 30 FPS in game you ever seen one of these before? I don't think they did just gonna show you how the driving seems just a little bit and then we're gonna go out and I'm gonna go into the config file and do a bit of tweaking so this is not enough we're trying to get 30 FPS which we definitely can get so yeah I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get into some tweaking here we are so Grand Theft Auto is actually in a tricky place it's actually in your documents folder under Rockstar Games and here you'll find Grand Theft Auto San Andreas the definitive edition uh, we're just simply going to go into the config file here, Windows No Editor, and Game User Settings. So from here is where the magic happens. Now as you can see, everything here is basically set up. You don't need to touch anything here. We'll be dealing with this, these fields right here. These fields will be the most important fields. Now, I've actually turned 0 down to some of these fields around here, such as traffic was at 2. I've dropped it down to 1, so there's less cars on the street. We'll turn down shadows, press to 0. Some of these things have been adjusted to give me a bit more performance out of it, but resolution percent. We're going to drop this down all the way down to, for something good, I'd go with 40%, just to see what we can achieve with that. That's the first tweak, and I believe that might be all I need to do. Everything here is set to zero, though, already. Keep that in mind. I have been trying to get this game to run. Like, as you can see, everything falls. Lens flare, bloom, everything is false or off. We need to keep it as low as possible. Let's see what happens. Alright, here we are back again. I'm actually going to let the cut want? scene that starts see play off home. first before you? I do anything yeah, else. Yeah, yeah, it's good to see you. Hey, show me how they drive on the East Coast, homie. And as you can see, we're dropping it down to 40%. We've dropped down the resolution enough that we are getting over 30 FPS in game. It is dropping below, even in the Culvasa area, though. So we're just going to go for a quick ride real fast. The bitch, bitch. Now, this ain't just, my fault. just like last time. Now, keep in mind, once again, you can drop it down lower than 40%. I wouldn't recommend it, though, because... Why not just play the original at that point? But this is just to show you guys how to get the game running on a lower end system. Um, I'm actually going to drop it down a little lower. I'll actually drop it down to 10% and we'll see what happens from there where the real magic happens. As you can see, there's less cars on the road because I have disabled most of them. I put it down to one so you'll barely see any so that we can get a bit more performance out of it. We are getting 30 FPS, but for anyone with a lower end system, I'm just going to show you guys how 10 FP, 10% looks like instead of 40. Like I said, I've disabled basically everything else already. I've left a few things on, but you know. Shadows are basically gone. As you can see, they aren't really here. And the game runs over 30 FPS for the most part. But just for the fun of it, I'll show you what 10% looks like. Which probably will be painful to watch, but I hope you guys enjoy this. <laughs> And here we are with the final video on how to do this. The hey cutscenes all want? of a sudden run at 60 See FPS. It's you. really dropped yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, if you yeah, really want to play this, I've dropped it no down to 20% no, huh? this time around instead of 10. I thought 10 would have been a bit too drastic. I thought 40 was already drastic. Hey, we've dropped it down to 20% now. Man, if you want this config no file, up, uh, just leave a comment down below. Beautiful. I will link it into the description. If you don't, I'll just not do it. But hey, let's get into it now and see what happens. Now, I was getting around 30 here, and now we are getting over 30 FPS at 20%. That being said, the graphical fidelity and everything around it isn't great anymore. Instead, Rockstar has kind of, you know, you've you've basically got the original game at this point. Hey, let me show you this. I don't know who you are, but you were in front of that car, so I had to take it take you down. And we're going to keep moving on from here. 
It's more stable around the 30 FPS than previously, but it does run better here going forward. Like I said, you can disable some of the other things, but I don't want to disable all of the graphical effects because then the game just looks terrible. And uh, trust me, if you actually check the Intel HD 4600 video I've done, it looks terrible. But we're not trying to make it look as bad as possible, but I did get it to run over 30 FPS. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and stick around for more big content. I'll see you guys next time.